My favorite Filipino dish is gossip. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding, Todd. I created Drag Den as a companion piece because I'm hosting Drag Den. Same name. <laughs> so we needed to have a theme song and it just so happened that I was very inspired by the underground drag scene in the Philippines and so that's how we came up with Drag Den, the song. I had a lot of fun creating this song, but there were some challenges because at the time I was recording the song and coming up with all the music, I was also filming the show Drag Den. So I was being strained in different directions and, you know, trying to be the host and also saving my voice so that I could sing the song. So there were some challenges, um, and then we had to shoot a music video. So. I love working with Filipinos, especially with music. I got to write the song with Xerxes Backer, and I worked with DJ Young and The Sound House as producers. So we were all over the world when we created this song. I was in Manila at the time, Xerxes Backer was in Amsterdam, and DJ Young was in Cebu, I believe, and so we did our jam sessions over Zoom. Thank God for Zoom. <laughs> we did our recording sessions over Zoom. Uh, it's kind of amazing what technology can do these days. The Drag Den lyrics, they're really inspirational because they are targeting the drag queen who feels like the underdog, who hasn't been able to be seen, who hasn't gotten that spotlight to shine on them for the world to see. And so I'm calling all of these queens who are, they're wanting to step out on that stage and show the world what they have. I'm calling them to action, to get themselves all dolled up. You know, just go out there and do it. I'm inviting everyone to join in on my drag den and we're gonna see some fierceness. This song is about showing your fierceness. So a lot of artists during the pandemic were writing music and creating music about how they were feeling at the time, which means that a lot of music was being created that had to do a lot with personal sadness and loneliness, but also a lot of hope for what we can do with the future. So when I was coming up with my music, Drag Den, I wanted to be more hopeful. I know there are a lot of people that, you know, have been sitting in their homes and been waiting to get all done up and be able to go out into the streets and show off how fabulous they are and how much they've grown during the pandemic. I've thought about a lot of that during the writing sessions for our song Drag Den. So throughout my drag career all over the world, I feel like I owe most of my success to the dedication and the support of my Filipino fans from around the world. Because Filipinos, we're everywhere. We're in every single country. I feel the support whenever I go perform anywhere. I always find my Filipino fans. And when I go to the Philippines, like everyone is a Filipino fan. So I, that's why I love performing my drag in the Philippines. I'm Filipino-American, born and raised in the States. So whenever I come to the Philippines, I feel like I am learning about who I am and my past because of all of the influence that the Filipino culture has had on my family, which has all kind of been absorbed by me, even though I was raised in the States. So coming back to the Philippines, I feel like I'm coming back to the homeland and I feel like I'm connecting with my roots in uh, the truest form. The best part about being Filipino is, well, besides amazing good looks and singing talent abilities, is probably the community. The Filipino community is like one big family everywhere you go. Dysfunctional, but still loving. My favorite Filipino dish is 
gossip. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding, shut up. Um, I, I, I'm a sucker for adobo. Chicken adobo, pork adobo, I love it all. Put it on some garlic rice, and I will eat it up until I pop. I really want to thank all of my Pinoy fans. They are some of the most dedicated and supportive fans. And honestly, they've been lifting me up throughout my entire career. I don't think that I would be as successful without their support. So thank you Filipinos everywhere. I hope that I do them proud. And I hope that all my fans listening really enjoy our song, Drag Den. So please stream it. On, on Spotify and watch the music video, it's there too. Welcome to my drag den, drag den, oh oh. Drag your ghoul on drag den and then join the fight. Welcome to my drag den, drag den, oh oh.